So we're going to do a little video. We've got this full face snorkel mask. Um, I wanted to take it down to the river and use it and do a video there, but the weather has been terrible and not cooperative at all. So that will be coming in the future. Comes with some nice instructions. You gotta clean it, maintain it, not destroy it. And a nice storage bag. So this is the little breathing apparatus um, right here. You can see these little balls in here. When you go underwater, they float up to keep water from getting in and killing you. Oops, I dropped a little. These are just little replacement seals and valve things. Always nice to have. It's got this head strap that is adjustable, although it takes a little while to figure out how to adjust it. It's full mask coverage and everything. You can talk and still be heard with this thing on, which is pretty awesome. So, my first impression upon putting this thing on was quite honestly one of absolute sheer terror and panic because I felt like I couldn't breathe. I felt like I was suffocating and being smothered. And that's not because this thing doesn't work right. It's simply claustrophobia got the best of me. Uh, once I calmed down, it was okay. It's actually pretty cool. I've used it a little out in the pool, but now it's like terrible, weird, cold break in the middle of heat waves, so it's too cold to swim, which is weird. Um, it's got a mount right here for a camera, like a GoPro style thing, uh, which I plan on getting something like that so that we can play with this thing in the water and take really cool videos. That'd be fun. Okay, so it actually comes in a variety of sizes. You've got to get the right size for your face because it's got to make a snug seal around your face in order to, you know, not kill you when you wear it. And then you just slide it on like so. And again, the intense feeling of claustrophobia is the first thing that happens for me personally. You're supposed to slide it on and then tighten it with the little tightener straps, which are like down here. Uh, I'm not going to do that right now because I'm not getting in the water. It's slightly loose on me just a little right now because I haven't tightened the straps. It's pretty cool looking, honestly, very futuristic. Uh, yeah. The biggest problem I have with it is I can't really see with it on because I can't wear my glasses because that would break the seal. It just sort of sits snugly across your face. It's really comfortable comfortable to wear as long as you're not claustrophobic. If you are claustrophobic, you know, you might have a little bit of terror to begin with, but it calms down pretty quick. It is just a little odd, honestly. But, uh, and your voice sounds funny when you've got it on, but you know, that's all right, that's to be expected. It's pretty cool and it does work. You can just breathe normally when you've got it on and instead of, you know, normal those regular snorkels that stuff in your mouth and then you gotta remember not to breathe through your nose. So yeah, if you enjoy splashing around in the water and are looking for a snorkel, these are pretty cool. Like I said, they come in three sizes. This one is like the largest size because I have a large head. Apparently, but uh, I think I'm gonna get some of these for my husband and the kids because these are so much fun and it'd be cool to play with and swim around, splash around, see what's going on under the water. It's an awesome toy, and they're not ridiculously expensive compared to other things I've looked at it's for snorkel related stuff. It's pretty easy when you get it, it's a part and you gotta snap it together, but that takes no time whatsoever. It's really simple to figure out. It just sort of pops together. There's one, there's one. I'm not gonna disassemble it, but yeah, you can also disassemble it for storage, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. And at some point in the future, we'll come back with a video featuring underwater stuff captured while wearing this.